Today we are going to build a wagon for the ATV. A wagon for my kids to actually drive and carry stuff around here on the yard. Because right now they are using their wheelbarrow. The ATV in question is this one down below here. I generally start with actually just sketching up a little bit draft of what I'm going to build. And in this case I just want to know or have some measurements of the frame and where the wheel should be aligned. To make sure that everything is correct I just measure the ATV as well to get the correct length. The material I use here is 20 times 20 times one and a half millimeter square tube. I also use some uh, angle arrows for it. Squaring it up a little bit quickly. This is actually nothing special, it's just a matter of getting it pretty aligned. And of course I'm grinding everything down where it will be aligning up to the bed and everything. The wheels in question are, are rather small, but they were cheap as well. Drilling some holes for the wheels. And of course I should get myself a bench drill sometime, I do need that. This is basically how it will be attached. The wheels have uh, bearings inside. Measuring up, uh, I'm not mounting them directly in the middle, actually like 5 centimeters back. Uh, and that's basically because I want some of the weight to be on the hitch. More drilling. What I'm using here to uh, lubricate is actually just uh, normal oil, so it's not optimal at all. But that's what I have. Just mounting just to make sure that everything fits. And then I weld the first one into place. Some more parts. And next side done. To the front I have these angle irons mounted. And the middle is just to support the weight in the middle of the bed. And when welding like I do here you should consider to have a long sleeve and something to your hands because you will burn yourself. Some of the finished welds they will be grinded down just a slight bit but on the other hand they are not that ugly so But it looks a little bit neater if you just get rid of all the splashes from the weld. The hitch to the ATV is a little bit special because the rear axle is moving. So I'm actually attaching it to the A-frame, whatever you call it, for the rear axle. And I just start with removing all the paint of course, because otherwise you won't be able to weld to it. So I just took two pieces and I need a hitch for it so I'm just making something up. And I'm using uh, several uh, flat iron pieces welded together to get it somewhat strengthened. And, and the hitch itself is not made to actually carry any bigger load. We're talking about perhaps 10 kilo of loads. 
so it's not more than that. Here I'm just making sure that I have correct length of the hitch, so he doesn't turn too much and the uh, wheels of the ATV actually hit the wagon. Um, I'm just strengthening it just slightly. It's really not needed in this case, but I thought it looked a little bit nicer to have it like this. And you never know when they actually start to jump on the wagon as well, so it might be good to have. And if you're doing bigger wagon, you should consider some other type of hitch, or at least stronger hitch, because uh, it might not be the most accurate type of hitch that I'm using. Now we have the first stage actually done. As you can see, the frame is welded up, the hitch is done, and it's good to understand that when you do a hitch like this, if you're going to do a more bigger wagon, uh, you might want to have the hitch all the way back, and you might need something that actually uh, goes up here as well, just to make sure that it doesn't bend. In this case it's a rather small carriage as you can see on the wheel and I'm pretty happy with it so far. Yeah, I'm using normal MDF board that I found. I think it's 8 mm thick, some leftovers. So I'm just cutting like quickly into length. I'm not doing anything to the back side drilling holes to actually mount them of course uh, tapping the rear end now it's just a matter of cleaning it up with some thinner and some paint attaching the wooden plates. Uh, I actually didn't attach the bottom one at all because it's held in place by the top ones. And it's good to put them on the correct side. The wheels, uh, normal nuts and bolts and some Loctite since I didn't have any lock bolts. And I have some washers in between just to make sure that the wheel doesn't touch the ends. Hopefully you like this video. And if so, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you should do that directly. Because otherwise you might miss some material. As you can see in the background, somewhere he is driving around. And he's happy now, because now he doesn't need to walk around and carry stuff. And now he lost the wheelbarrow. Or the wagon itself, so he have to go back and fetch it. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, see you next time, bye!